Hi everyone. Hello. Here we are. It's a little bit early, but we thought we'd go early because <laughs> we've been sitting around for half an hour waiting for 7.30 to come around. So, um, yes. yeah, here we are. So tonight we're only playing two games. Yes. We're playing a little opener called Roll For It and then we're playing a bigger game. Chimera Station. Tonight's menu. There, there it is. There you go. Roll For It, Chimera Station, and then we're going to do a little review on Chimera Station. Yeah. And drinks, of course. Yes, we we yes. have champagne cocktails tonight. We're being recognised for our... Drinking ability. Yes. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. You can check on us tomorrow in store to see how we recover. But, um, yeah. So the score so far, I caught up last week. You did. You I, won two games out of three. So you're now on five for you and eight for me. So even if you win the two games tonight, you're still not going to catch me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. And there's a good chance you're going to win both of the games tonight, I might say. Oh, I'll roll for it's, you know. Yeah, but you seem to beat me. You'll explain that now. Yes, I will. So, so roll for it is a fun, family-friendly dice and card game designed by Chris Leader, published by Calliope Games in 2011. It plays two to four players, ages eight and up, and it doesn't run for 60 no, minutes. No, it's shorter than that. It's a it few runs minutes. for like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So, as you're bored. Each player starts with six dice. There are three cards turned face up and they each have victory points on them. So you're trying to match the cards. You roll your six dice, you commit your dice to a card that matches. When you fulfil the card requirements, you get to take that card mm -hmm. and you get the victory points, the cards replaced, you keep going. First player to 40 points wins the game. Uh Shall we? Let's play. Who and goes my first? alarm's going off. Do you want me to stop eating? <laughs> <laughs> Who goes first? Who's watching tonight, by the way? Lucas and Marco. So, so far. far. There's four viewers, but I don't know who the others are. So no one's piped in. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on these um, horrible lockdown Friday nights. No. We, we cannot wait until we can play games with more people. With people around the table. Not yep. that I don't enjoy playing games with Peter, but... No, You're always playing games with me. I know, but I would like to play it with more people. All right. You can go first. I can go first? Yeah. Okay. We are playing with uh, Tansy dice because the dice that come with Roll for It are really small, so you probably wouldn't be able to see them. So I'm not sure you can make out the cards there. At the moment, we've got three cards out there. There's a, a two and a three on the blue card. There's a double um, four and a six on the yellow card, and there's two threes and two sixes on the green card. Sue's so committing four dice straight up. But I'm won this card. You've won the blue card already. Immediately. So you so can't straight cards out. Back. That's a tough oh. one. And that was two points, Sue, just one on that one. So um, three sixes, threes. I'm going to commit there, sixes and threes. That was a good start. And I'm going to commit a four there. And I'm stopping. So when a card gets completed, you get to withdraw your dice. You can also recall dice any time if you feel like you haven't got enough to complete a card. Fives don't do me anything. Fives do nothing for you. No, no they're just the one. Um, no, just that's right. it for me. All right, a five and a four. That, gets that doesn't me do anything for you. And oh. another four out oh. there. I've got one die left. I've got two cards that I have a chance at. Oh, dear. I have a six, so I achieved You've that You've completed card. that. I get these dice back. Another card comes out. I've still got these dice that I haven't put to anything, so... I might as well put a five on yeah. there. Okay. I needed a three. That gets me that ten points and those four dice I'll back. I get that dice back. And I'll commit a three over there and I'll put another card out. And the one can go there. Wow. I will put two fives there and get that card. Oh. Lucas says the cards are nice and clear. Oh, good. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks mate. Lucas. I haven't finished yet. Just oh. relax. Uh, I will also get that card. What? Yep. You're killing me. And I, no, I'm not. You've got a 10 point card, and I will place that four there. You're everywhere. Uh, threes, five, two. I should put them here where people can possibly see Ooh. them. I'm going to stick committing for that. I'm going to try and achieve that next time round. I'm going to recall this one. I don't want it there anymore. Uh, 
And we're trying out new microphones tonight, so if any of you want to comment on the audio, it would be helpful as well. Thanks. <laughs> Four. Then roll a five, which sucks. Roll a one and a three, so I'll go over there. That's my roll down. Four. Four and a five gets me that. Oh, damn it. And those back. And a one. Can, no, hang on, let's have a look what the next card is first. Oh, one can go there. I'll try for that. I will have that. Another card for you. I think you're beating me on points. And I've got 19. So, no, I'm not. Okay. Oh, no, you are. You've got 15. Yeah. Um, All right, the drinks tonight are champagne cocktails and... Um, Later, there'll be a surprise. Not unless I give it away. Well, then it won't be a surprise. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a five there. Uh, comments always sound nice and clear. Which oh, is good. good. Thank you, guys. Good. Hope you're all well. Did you say we have new microphones? Yes. Yes, okay. Hope you're all well. Um, and enjoying lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Oh, you've got a pair of... You hadn't committed yeah. those? Where am I going to put them? Okay. Uh, one, six, 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 six is a no good to me. A one gets me there. I'll commit to that card. Oh. Why do you only have to say? Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. Fours. Look at you go. Shush. This shush. I could go for that. It's very tempting. Or I could put a one there and a no, I've already got a five there. Oh, look. Let me go for that and You're take that recall that. Okay. This is going to make my mind up for me. I'm going to commit that there. Oh, bummer you didn't roll a three. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. I'm taking the risk here. Your head, you, you've got your finger in too many pies. That doesn't do me any good oh, whatsoever. Didums. <laughs> I'm going to have a drink. That to me, I'm recalling these threes for the next round. First of 40 points wins this, and I that'll decide nothing. the starting position for the next game, which tonight is an awesome worker placement. We really love it. We've had four goes at it, and um, we're addicted. I got, I got to place nothing then. Me neither. Oh, this is dragging on. <laughs> uh, one, one, three, five. Thank you. I'll have those 10 points. Another card out. Uh, I will commit a two. Hmm. Another four, yay. Oh, you, you've really... Banking. I've committed. I've committed, committed to that card now. <laughs> uh, two, two, two. Mm. Another two there. Davy threes. Not much point in committing to anything else. So I'll hold those. And nothing. Oh wow! Now I'm rolling fours and sixes. Awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll have a look over there. That's the problem with dice rolling. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to get. And nothing. Nothing. Uh, a three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull back those fours. I thought you might. Yeah. Yay, a four. Ooh. It's a very slow going getting a 15-point card. There's a three. There's that card. That's 35 points. <gasps> I have two fives to commit on one on there. Oh, wow. I don't know if this 15 points is worth it. I got a four. You got that card? I got the card. Oh, well done. I'm on 34, so I'm one point there's behind two, you. There's a six. There's a six. And I'll hold there. Now, what are people saying? What I want is a one, a five, and a six, which is going to get me that card, which is going to put me. 
Yes, they're keeping very well, which is good. I have one more point to get. One more Should point. Do you like to put to... another card out? Do I get that dice back? Yeah. So I have two fours. And they're not going to do me any good at all. So I need to roll a one to win. Oh. There it is. Damn. I Peter win. wins. I win. But I did say he had a high probability of winning tonight. Oh, that's just a cop out. Nah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right. And look, it's going to take us a few minutes to set up the next game. Um, so we'll put you on the slide again. And we'll be back with you shortly.
Hi everyone, we are back with you. And um, <laughs> this is Chimera this Station. This is Chimera Station. Chimera Station is a worker placement game designed by Mark Major, published by Tasty Minstrel Games in 2017. It does two to four players aged 13 plus, and it runs for 60 to 90 minutes. The game revolves around building a space station that offers a lot of strategic possibilities for your workers to achieve victory points. Your workers look something like this. Placing workers to gather resources of coins, food and genetic components that will allow us to upgrade your workers, all the while earning victory points. So we Your workers have... come in four factions, toughies, weirdos, brainiacs and eco-friendlies, and each has its own advantages during the game. Yes, they're distinctly different and you can play on an A and a B side on the board. B side, you get advantages straight off. Uh, the player board that each player gets, this is the Brainiacs play board you're looking at here, has a space for your workers, food and coins, a research track along the way. As you advance up the research track, you get more rewards, you get more workers, you get more um, cards. Uh, it's really important to move along the research track as well. Uh, you want to pick up? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I thought you were you, were, you had that covered. Yeah, okay. So you've got a worker pool, you've got food, place to store your money, uh, a research track, a component storage. It also and, has a cheat sheet on the yes. bottom which explains what you get for each component that you attach to your worker. And here's the board. The board has a round track, which is on the left-hand oh, side. Yeah. The game is played over five rounds and each round is broken into phases of placement, splicing and feeding. There's a build area for modules with two command hubs in the centre, which you must build from. Uh, default modules, which are down the uh, right-hand side, uh, they are basic actions for food, coins, components and other things. There's a worker lounge where you can get food and coins for a worker and there's also the splicing lab. You need to send workers there in order to upgrade them with additional components. And the reactor contains a conveyor belt of modules that can be built. Uh, this can be flushed once each game by each player and can be topped up using the boiler room module, yeah, the boiler which is room down the bottom there. The bottom there. Uh, perks, uh, little cards that you have as well. I get to start this game because we're on the B side with a perk card. Perks have two distinct types. They have an orange, which is a passive continuous perk that runs the whole game through, and the others are a private module which you get to place a worker on and access its abilities anytime you like. No one else can go to those modules. Uh, they're, yeah, uniquely private. We should say too that you are playing the Brainiacs tonight yes. and I am playing the Weirdos. Yeah. Um, I've played the Brainiacs twice before. I've played the Weirdos once but not on side B. So this is a bit new for yeah. me. Uh, next we've got modules. There are 40 modules in the game. They're all unique. And some are really cheap to build and have good rewards. Others are really expensive to build and have amazing rewards. Some you can't even place workers on once they're put yes. out there. Like this um, one, the monolith. Yes, they're all completely <laughs> unique. Uh, they have different cost activations and victory points. Modules need to be built from the conveyor belt before they can be activated. Uh, and here we are. So each round of the game, we have three phases. We have the placement phase where you place your workers in turn on modules to gain resources, which may include building modules. You have the splicing phase, which is where you get to recall any workers that you've put in the, in the splicing lab and add modules to them if you've able to, been able to get them throughout the course of the round. And, and then, then place the, them. And then place them and get more points for them. And then there's the feeding phase. You bring all your workers back to your home lab, your home uh, board, and you have to feed them. And each worker costs one food in the form of space burgers, these yes. little green guys. They're awesome. Um, <laughs> so we've played this four, three, four times four now. Four times now, yes. Um, first couple were a bit of an effort. They were, but, yeah. you know, it's um, the first time we've really had to learn a worker placement game on our own. From scratch. From scratch, and we have only ever played one worker placement game before this. Yeah, Viticulture. Yeah. Yeah, with Marco. 
Well, go weirdos. Go brainiacs. <laughs> weirdos. Pick we love, the, we love the tentacles. On. You can't have both. My favourite colour is yellow, <laughs> so it works for me. All right. Well, at the moment I have the start player token. Uh, I We each get a starting resource card at the beginning of the game. We do. Uh, in a two-player. They're pretty limited. But I... Uh, got two gold and a weirdo's set of arms. Tentacles. Um, tentacles. Uh, I also, with the B side on the Brainiacs, started my lab track on level two, which meant I got a brain for one of my workers straight away. And I also got a starting perk card, which in this case is the mint, which will give me nine victory points at the end of the game if I have the most gold. So something to play for. So now I know what to stop you getting. (laughs) Uh, All right. So So I just started my research track at number one, but I did start with one of my workers having tentacles on him already, which is good because tentacles give you a bonus of um, an extra one whenever you gain anything. So an extra coin, extra food. Tentacles get extra bonuses. Uh, If you get the uh, crab claws, you get to knock people off modules and access that module for yourself and they get returned to their their player board. Uh, If you have brains, uh, when you have a double brain uh, worker and you go to the lab, you get to uh, uh, advance your research track for free without discarding... uh, you have a double brain, yes. Uh, Some things cost you components as well. Sometimes you have to give up a component to get the reward. Um, Can I just point out that when you knock people off, they don't go back to your worker pool and they go to the worker lounge. Oh, that's right, they go to the worker lounge. Sorry. Thank you. It's all right. I just thought I'd mention that. I don't want people to say we got it wrong because we haven't got it wrong. The leaf module gives you free food. If you have a worker with a leaf module on them, you don't have to pay for food for that worker. If they have two leaf modules, they pay for another worker. So leaf modules... A pretty... They're like the vegan components. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> they are. They're like the vegan components. They feed with plants. So there are two command hubs in the centre of the board. Uh, command hub B is locked until round three. Uh, there's only five rounds. You can build off it, but you can't access it as a module. Uh, we must build off these central models. What we didn't point out in the opening blurb was that when you build a module and you place it in these stations, you get the build bonus, which is what you cover. So there's there's food, there's coins, there's um, upgrades. There's victory points there's victory per points. round. There's one where you activate an, an adjacent square so build not bonus. So not only do you score victory points for landing on a module, you can also score victory points for building a module. Um, there's lots of way to make points. Uh I think we should get underway. Okay. You're going first because you're first. the start player. All right. So placement phase, we take it in turn. I play some meeple, Sue plays some meeple, I play some meeple. So what's in the reactor at the moment? I haven't had a good look at that. There's the... There's the break room. There's the medical lab. There's the mercenary outpost. It's really hard to read them There's the down. monolith. There's the quantum constructor. There's the quantum constructor. What are they? Uh, three gold, three gold, four gold. I can't there's buy anything out room. there anyway. Um... So yeah, I'm expensive. just going to go... Well, you can afford a monolith, but it's not going to give you much. I'm just going to go and get gold. So, oh, we should point out, you start on 10 victory points because you may go backwards in the first couple of rounds. If you can't feed your workers, you will go backwards. So I get three gold and one victory point for going to the refinery. Three gold. Uh, your turn with a meeple, uh, a worker. Right, okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to go here and get... Three food instead of two food because three, I have tentacles. Three food. Normally you get two food when you go to that one and one victory point. And a victory point. Who? All right, now I have money. I'm going to build something. Um, I'm going to go to the construction module. Oh, what are you going to build? I'm going to build. I'm going to build. I am going to build... And you can't build anything if you cannot fulfil it once you put your worker there. So I need food. So I'm going to build the break room. On a food module, no doubt. On a food module. So I'm going to get two food for building it. I've got to pay three gold. One, two. Oops. Fingers. 
three gold. Then I am going, you get to move this meeple, this uh, worker straight to the module you've built. Score the victory points. You would have got victory One, two, points for uh, building it. Victory points for building it as well. And then I also get food per round. a food per round. So I'm going to get another food for um, activating its ability. And then these all move down. They all slide up. Because this, this is a conveyor belt, of course. Uh, your turn. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, oh, well, I'm going to go to the spicing lab. Oh, you've gone to the spicing lab. I've so gone that's to the, the end spicing of your turn. Because I've got a leaf thing I want um, to put on. Music's not too loud, is it? No, I don't think so. I'm going to the spicing lab. Oh, damn, it's me again already. Um, so I want to build something. I've only got three gold, so I can build a mercenary outpost, which gives me... Marco has brains. Marco has brains? Mm -hmm. You have brains too. No, I have a singular brain. On one of your workers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if four workers were you, you're using a quarter of your brain. You're hurting my head now. <laughs> I don't know what you meant by that. <laughs> I'm just looking at the mercenary outpost and going, what does that give me? That gives me four gold plus one gold per core, which I don't have. Yeah. But it might be worth building anyway. I'm going to build this module. It's going to cost me three gold. Thank you. Just a little thing. You can have a maximum of six workers. You start the game with four, and as you move up the lab track, you will release, release more workers to your pool. And oh, you know? we played this in a three-player the other night and it gets really crowded and the splicing lounge evaporates very go, quickly. Oh, I don't know where to go. I'm going to go over two coins. You want money? So I'm going to get two, two coins, two coins two, and two victory two points victory for building points it. Building. Then I'm going to place my worker there and get four coins. Four coins. And I'll two give, more I'll victory give you a three points. three and a one and another two victory points. And we are level on 15. You really have to stay on top of the scoring with yes. this game. Scoring is a big Which thing. Which is probably a up. thing in Euro games generally. You have to keep track of the scoring. I'm going to the worker lounge to get a food. Desperate, are we? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well. Splicing, you're first. I haven't finished. Oh, you haven't finished. Oh, you've got one more. I've got another worker to place yet. Yep. Hope you can see all this fit, fitting on the screen. I think it has. It's a bit soon to do that, so I don't think I'll do that yet. Oh, the medical bay's out. The icon's under the conveyor. Ah. Oh. These? Oh, these. Yes. yes, as you re release, re reveal those, if you go to the boiler room, you get, you get to score those uh, once they're revealed and then you get to top up the conveyor belt. And if you go there with tentacles, you get to score double yeah. the reactor bonuses, which is another reason I like the tentacle guys, the weirdos. We love being weirdos. Um, there is a lot to this game. There is. There is a lot to this game, and so far, each time we've played it, it's been a completely different game. I'm going to go here to the genetics vat and pay two gold to get a tentacle. You want a tentacle? Yep. Wow. And that is the end of the placement phase. Correct. So now we do the splicing phase. You're first up I'm in the first splicing up. room. Yay. So you bring your, you bring your worker back. You, get you don't to have actually, to pay anything. You get to actually physically you attach any choice splice of them. whatever module you have. And so, then I get to place and it. And then you get to place it on the module and get victory points for doing so. I don't know where he's going to go, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might just go to the worker lounge and grab a food. You want a food? Yeah, I need okay, a food. There you go. Uh, my splice, I get to put a tentacle on. I've never had a worker with a tentacle in wow. the four games we've played. Tentacles are awesome because you're going to get an extra never one. never had a worker with a tentacle. Um, I don't think I can build anything. Everything out there is too expensive. Although 
The monolith is not really worth it yet. Wow. What can I pay? I might pay. Yes, I'm Why going to the academy. I'm going to pay two gold and I'm going to get a brain. Okay. That is everything done. So now we recall all our workers. And we have to feed them. And we have to feed them. So oh, I need did to I get pay. a victory point for doing that? No, I need a victory point for doing that. And I need a victory point. See, this yeah. is where you get. I yeah. need a victory point for the genetics. Uh, I need four food to feed my four workers. There's one, I need two, three. three one, four. two, three. Um, we're all fed. Well, that was a pretty good turn. Didn't go too badly. Moving up the score track. Round two, we advance the round tracker. When we get to round three, we get double build points. Which we always forget to do. Yes. So. And when you get to round five, you get triple build points. Uh, so round two, uh, did anyone go to a command hub? No. no so I'm still, I'm still player still one. still first player. I'm still player one. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go flush the reactor. <gasps> what? Are you going to the boiler room? I'm or going, going to the flush boiler the room. We need more out there. They're, they're all too expensive. Okay. Um, so you want to put something out with there with something on it. Or do I want to do that yet? You want to put something in with a component. If you do that one, it's going to give you victory points. No, I'm going for gold. Oh. One victory point and three gold. I'll take that in the form of one. Get. Well, I'm going to go there and get three food. <laughs> Weirdos of the new. <laughs> this, there's a lot of comments on this. Uh, there are currently six viewers. I can't read. Hi them. everyone. I can't read the the comments from here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. I'll just check. Uh, have you placed? You have. I have. Do, I've you got, got your food. food. I got an extra food because I have tentacles. All uh, right. I'm going to. No, I get nothing with that in there. So I'm going here. I'm going to the boiler room. So you get two victory points. Two victory points for going to the boiler room. Oh, I get one victory point for going to the thing. Did and you get yours for going to the refinery? Yes, I did. And I get to put out two. Do I get that? No. No. Your ref only the um, the yellow guy gets that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what came out was petty cash, which is cheap money. It's money for whatever round you're in. Um, and, and that one, one, the giant statue the giant costs statue. seven gold, but it's worth six victory points. But you cannot place a worker there. So you just get the build bonus. I've figured out when someone blocks this, that's when you need these. You need a toughie to knock them off. Yes. Yeah. So there are times when you go to the build module and you get stuck there because you can't go to the module you've built and it stops everyone from building modules. But if you've got a toughie, you can knock them off. You're going. Toughies have a use. Yes. I've never really liked the toughies, never been a fan of bullies. Um, I'm going to go. Yeah, the, the upgrade process is really good. We've, we've looked at this a couple of times thinking, what a gimmicky little thing, but it's, it's actually an awesome way to keep track of what you've got. I mean, how else can you upgrade a single worker and keep track of that? I mean, this is a visual way of And they of can each it. carry two upgrades, and if you get a particular module, you can have three upgrades on one worker. I'm going to go there and get four gold. Do you want four gold? So I have a three and a one, please. And you want a three and a one? Why didn't I go there? I don't know. I built that damn thing. And I'll have two victory points. <laughs> and two victory points for doing it. Right on. Me. I'm determined to be more strategic when I play. Okay. Break room. Uh... Two food plus a third food because oh, yes, I have very good. a... You used your tentacles. I used well my done. tentacles. Three food, two victory points, and that's that. Right. Mm. There's not much out there. Now, for the command hubs, you only get the points in the space station, correct? You don't get these points. No, you don't. You get, only get the you only points that get are out the here. built stations. So points. there's no point in doing no, it. No, it's not. It's too early. But you can get first player marker for doing it. 
If you go that to is, one of the command hubs, you get to score everything that's got workers on it. You get if to you, score your opponent's workers. And if you've got double brains, you get to score your own workers as well. That is true. Yes. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a brain. It's a really um, good way to get a lot of victory I'm points very quickly. I'm going to go with the splicing lab, which I can only just reach. And wow, we are going to be short of food. Where are you going to go? You going to build something? I'm going to be short of food. Uh, What's out the out there? Get food? What's out there? Mm. Pay one, get two for four. No. Petty cash. Um, I do want to send that round next there. I will go to the working lounge and get a food. Okay. I have one more to place. I'd like to build something, I think. It cost me four. It does give me three. Okay, I'm going to go here and build the newsroom which cost me four. Four gold. I'm going to place it here. What'd you get? I want a food, a coin. And a victory point. And a victory point. Food, <laughs> a coin, and a victory point. I got a victory point. Not greedy much. Did you get your um, build points? I got my victory point. Uh, no, I get my three points for that. Yep. And then I'm going to go there, and for each worker I have placed, I get two victory points. Does that mean the one that I've... Plus three victory points three. for going there. One, two, three. And I get two for him. You've got three victory points for going there. And then you get, for each worker you have placed, you get an additional two victory points. So one, two... Do I count that one? Uh, yes, three. It's still placed. So it's six, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. I'm doing better on strategy this game. You are. You've really, you're really nailing, <laughs> you're nailing it with the, uh, the weirdos. The weirdos are working yes. well for you. So that's the end of the placement phase. Now we're on to the splicing, splicing phase. Splicing phase, and you're the only one in the splicing lab. Yes. So I'm going to splice my tentacles. This is fun too, I must say. You get to be a child again. But it's not a child's game. It's quite advanced. Um, well, that's not going to get me anything. And he likes what you did there. What a move. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Can't wait to see you guys in the flesh uh, and play can't, another can't game. Can't wait to play this with you. Yeah, I wish I, it was six players, but it's, it's only four. It's only a four player, but I think um, Marco will um, love this. Um, I will gain two food. Oh, you've got your tentacles. Probably should have chose coins, but I chose food. Did it's I? fine. Yes, I did. And that's the splice. That's a slice. Now we're up to the feeding phase. Now we recall. One, two, Oops, sorry. three. Sorry. <laughs> now we feed. I have four to feed. I have four burgers. I have only three to feed because one of mine's got a leaf. You've got a leaf. One of mine's a vegan. Right. I'm really slowing down on that. Uh, I'm still. Oh, you went. Did you go to the command hub? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I'm still first player. <clears throat> we haven't built enough um, modules in the space station. I'll just move these down. Okay, my little private um, perp card, if I go to it, gives me gold for every gold boarded module in the station. At the moment, there's only one. It's gold boarded. Oh, I, yes. Okay. So. Sounds fair. Uh, I'm still first player. Look, I'm. You are. I'm going straight to the Splice of Lounge. Gives with, me a chance to have a drink. With this guy, because. I'm going to give him two brains so he'll be half as smart as me. <laughs> I love the way it's working beautifully. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Ooh, this is really tempting. I think I might have to do it. Or do I, I could go there and get four. You're killing me. 
I'm going to go here and get yeah. five coins. I'll have a five. You'll have a big gold one. A yeah, big thank fat you. Gold one. I'm making sure you're not the end with the most gold because that's going to be that's your. Fine. I'm going to the. Ref Did you get your victory points? Get your victory no, points. No, I have two victory points for that Me also. Too. I'm going to the refinery to get four, four gold, gold and one victory point. Okay. I need a component. We need to build this station. There's not enough modules out there. Yes, I know. I might go there because that would give me what I want. Uh, is this round three? Is it round three? We haven't built anything yet. This is round three. This is, which means we go up on a track, which means I get one of these. It means I get another perk as well. Wow, you get a perk. Yeah. All I get is that. When do we deal out the other three perks? Not yet. Right. Uh, which one are you going to choose? Give you... We've got Beggar's Alley, Savant or Architect. I'm having trouble reading them upside down. I can read them. <laughs> uh, when you build score one additional... Oh, I'll have that. The when Architect. I, when I build, I get an additional victory point and they'll give me eight victory points at the end of the game. I do like getting the victory points at the end of the game, but uh, it's your I've placement. got to go up another level to get perk. Hmm. That's the other thing you've got to keep a track of. It's really difficult. You've got to keep track of, of your research track. You can go to the lab and advance it yourself. I'm thinking about doing that soon because I'll get another worker. I know what I want to do. It's just how do I do it? So what's that? Petty cash. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe I'll do that. Petty cash for rounds. Yes. Yeah, I might go here. And build petty cash, which is going to cost me three. Three gold, thank you. I'm going to build it on the brain. So get you want a, a brain, a brain. Component. right? And I'm going to go there and get three gold. You, you, you get four victory points because you built it oh, yes. and you've gone to it. I get you three get gold. Three gold for going there because of the round. Yes, well done. So you got your gold back. It cost you three and you got it back free and you got four victory points for doing it. Well Not done. Bad. Well done. Well done. Um, I'm getting better at this game. I'm I really hope we're doing this justice because this is an awesome game. It's I can do that. Pay one to get two. I'm going to do that. I'm going to build. I'm going to build the medical bay. Oh. For four gold. You have to pay. I have to pay that. <laughs> for four gold. You could build it there and get six gold. And you read my mind, but <laughs> I need food, so oh, I'm going okay. to build it there and get four food. And two victory points. Mm. One, two, four food. Then you're going to go there. Then I'm going to go there. You're going to pay a component. I'm going to pay a component to, to get, get two. two. So I'm going to have that brain back and I'm going to get a leaf. Nice. Did I get all my victory points? Yes, you did. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe you didn't. I think you needed another two. Two more, yeah. Okay. Okay, what am I going to do? That's not really going to do me anything. I'm going to go to... <laughs> I reckon I'm cheating. <laughs> He's not cheating. I'm keeping an eye on him. I've gone to the splicing lab. Oh, yes, good call. Good call. Uh, last move. Well, you're going to go double brain, aren't you? I'm going double brain. You sod. Look out. Um... I need to catch you on victory points. It cost me three to build the model list. I don't have to move. Okay. That's my best option. I'm going to build for three gold, because we're in round three, I'm going to build the monolith. Oh, really? Yep. To score three victory points, but I'm going to build it don't need food at the moment. 
victory points for the round is three. That's going to be worth more in the end. But, yeah, that... Yeah, I'm going to go here. So that's victory points for the round as that's a build bonus. Give you three, three victory as points. As a build bonus. Three is a bit one, two. Oops, that's not that's me. One, two, three. And then I and get. it's going to give you three. It gives me three. One, two, three. You can't go there. I though. can't go there. So, so how do you get that then? It's just building it. You just get it. Yeah, but you built it. You don't get it twice. And you get what no, the model is. Yes, you do. No, you get build bonus, which you build on, and you get oh, what, okay, it's worth, all right. yeah. what the module's worth. Okay, fine. Yeah. I stand corrected. Uh, and that's all my workers out. I have one more worker to place, and I think I'm going to go to the splicing lab. And he says, I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Where'd you go? Sorry. Oh, you got another one. Another yeah. splice. So we're now into the splicing phase, and Peter I go up first. first, and he's going to make a double brain. I'm going to have a double brain because a double brain gives him a bonus of when he goes to the laboratory, he doesn't have to detach a component. And I'm going there, and he goes up, up on his research, and I track. get an extra worker. Great. Yes. I'm miles away from that. I get a worker and food. When yeah, I you're out in front on victory points. I'm moving up the, the research track quicker than you are, but you're ahead on points. Okay, let's do my first worker. <laughs> a brain. He's going to have a brain. You're going to have a double, a double tentacle. I am. Damn. And I can't attach his head. There we go. Where are you going? Well, I can't go to the monolith. Oh, this is gone now. Oh, that's out. Yes, we can go there. We can go there, but it's kind of module com right? command slot module B is now free to use. We should show you what happens when you do I'm that. I'm going to go here. What are you getting there? I'm going to get two for each worker I place. So two, four, six. Six plus three victory points for going there. Plus three victory points. Yeah. Nice. Nicely done, and it's still you. Oh, and the brain gives me. Uh, that's one extra bonus point. Yes. Well done. Uh, you're, you're all spliced again. <laughs> oh, my splice again. You're still splicing. This guy's going to have double tentacles, which means he's going to get a component when he goes to a command hub, oh. which he might do right now. Oh. <laughs> So he's going to, is he going to get double? No, he's not. He doesn't get double the victory points. No, no, no. You just collect what? He gets a component. The, you only get the workers. So he gets two points for that guy. Yes. Two points is two points. Yes, you collect. And he gets a component. And you get a free component. A, another brain. I'm going to take that a brain. me on my own brains. Yep. And that is... That's the splicing phase. Now time. it's the recall and feeding now phase. Now it's the again. feeding phase. Now I have a problem because I have Do five you? workers to feed now. Oh. And I only have four food. Oh, you're going to lose a component. So I'm going to lose. No, I can you lose, lose a component first and victory point second. I'm going to lose my leaf. Should have thought about that. All you? that effort to get. So there's my four food, and there goes my component. I can lose a victory point. Well. That's debatable. If you want to lose a victory point, lose a victory point. I'll lose a victory point. Okay. We'll have to um, we'll have to look at the rules for that. Yeah, that's we a haven't really area, had to one. do that we before. Had, I so had to do that before. I've always been able to feed. Yeah. So. <laughs> Lucas Marshall. It's so many decisions. It's brilliant. It there is so it, many. It decisions. is. There is. There's a lot. To I do. have to pay three food. Which leaves me one. And it's never the same twice. We need to refill oh, the reactor. No, we don't. We need to go to the boiler room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went to a command module, so you're first player. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to the boiler room. Yep. And I'm going to get double coins. Two, two coins two, for me. Two coins. I'm going to get two food and I'm going to get two victory points. That's the advantage of being... And having tentacles of and having going tentacles. to the boiler room. And we get to refill it. 
Which and I can't reach. You can't reach. So I can put them down. There's four. Four new ones. Oops, upside down, Miss Jane. That is a reference from Mr. No Squiggle. two of these modules are the same. They are all unique. And we haven't seen them all yet. So What have we got out there now? Oh, there's the underground. The ladder. science fair. Science fair is good. We've played that before. Science fair is good. It's like the splicing lab in one hit. Yeah. 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 Science fair is a module that allows you to attach a uh, component immediately without having to go to the splicing lab. Uh, so your worker is more effective. And you get three victory points per component. All right. It's meter um, place. Yes, it's it is. It's meter place, meter place, meter um, place. You need to go to the splicing lab. I do need to go to the splicing lab, but I also need to go to... Um, but you don't have any food or have, any money. I don't have any food or any money. So. <laughs> I've got bucket loads of money. I am going here to get five gold nice. and two victory points, please. Okay, that was my favourite spot to go to. Are we up to the round four now? Oh, yes. And Must did we get double build points? No, we didn't. Oh, we forgot the double build points. We always Again. forget the double build points. It's a hard one to remember. But we've, we've done it evenly. We so have done it evenly, so fine. it's fair. We've yeah. both gone up on the research track, so that's yeah. fine. Um, yeah, okay. So, four. Um, I don't want to go. Do I want to build something? I want to go. I want to send him to the splicing lab. <sighs> <laughs> you're going to double brain before I do. I've got to get a perk card somehow. I'm going to the splicing lab. So I, need to, <laughs> I need to leaf up. I need to food up very soon. Okay. I might go. Ooh, that's tempting. So it's going to give me four, five, six. No. Explain to me what that one means. If I have a double tentacles, I get a component of the same type. When I gain a component? Get an additional component of the same type when you gain a component. So if you win a component somewhere, you get to get another component of, of the, the same, same type. type. So if you go to a module that pays you a component, right. you'll get a second one for free. That's no use to me. Yep. He doesn't give me double, double. <laughs> You just want points. You're looking yeah, way yeah. ahead. Think about this game. It's very high scoring in the end. Um, we played it with my son the other night, and he he clocked the board twice. He did over 200 points. Um, we weren't that far behind. I was 120, something like that. And uh, you just clocked the board, didn't you? So it can be very high scoring. I'm going to go here, get one victory point. And I will score four food because I have two tentacles. There is four food. You're so much better at this game than I am. No, I'm not. This is the first game I feel like I'm being strategic. But I haven't gone up on my research track, which is a bit annoying. And I can't place him there need now. Gold, man. I need food. That really wasn't my plan. Damn. I need food. What can I build out there? Uh, there's only one thing that gives you food. food the commissary. You... The commis I can't pronounce that. The commissary. Commissary. Gives you a victory point, a coin, and Nothing food. out there pays food except for that one. And, and I can't... have a technical guy to place I can't there. Build oh, I can build on food there. Yeah, you can build on food. That's a good idea. You could do there, and that's going to give you four yeah, food. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Look at that. I'm going to go to the build lounge. I'm going to build the commissary for two gold. So pay five, get three back. I'm going to put it here, get one victory point for doing it. I'm going to receive four food, four food as a build bonus. And then I'm going to go there. Get another victory point. A victory point, a gold. Oh, and, and a another victory point. And a food and another victory point. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm so it's really different that. every time, Annie. It, there's it is. No, no two turns are the same. We have not played a game <laughs> the same yet. Not even close. 
I want to go to the laboratory, but I can't yet. Speaking of, we played Tiny Epic Galaxies last night and found that really cool as well. Um, we're under the space theme at the moment. Two, three points. Three victory points for you. Right. Two more workers. I really should when do that with double tentacles. Because then I gain a component. Okay. We well, have still got two more to place. Double brain. I'm going to the lab. I'm going to run out of champagne. I'm going to the lab. I do not have to detach because I have a double brain going to the lab. I get a free component for doing this. I'm going to take another leaf. You've got another go. Oh, you all out? Oh, yeah, I've, I've done oh. all my workers. You've got an extra worker, so. So. <laughs> Enjoy. I am going to go to the splicing lab with my last worker. Ah, oh, very good. So the splicing phase. You're first. I'm first. Um, you're double braining. While you're splicing, I might get ice cubes. Okay. Is that all right? Yep. They take a bit of effort, these things. They'll loosen up over time. No, they're really good. Um, they're we'll, not going to fall apart. We'll talk about the quality afterwards. Um, it's okay. Really I am going to – where am I going to place him? I'm, <laughs> oh, you stolen my spot. <laughs> I saw it you coming. sod. I saw it coming. Sod, sod, sod. I can't do that. Yeah, Tiny Epic Galaxy is a great little game. First time we played it last night, and we quick to learn. And I, you won. Well, it was very close. Oh no, it was. Luke and I were on the same 25 on twenty five, and, and you were on, on twenty four. So it was very close. I'm not doing that. Oh, this is not good. I'll just go here and score another three points. <sighs> that was my plan. Tit for tat. We just lost a lot. All right, I'm just going to get uh, ice cubes. You're going to get ice cubes while I splice. As so quietly as I possibly I'm can. I'm putting food uh, leaves, leaves on this guy. Everyone's going to hear me go to the freezer and get ice cubes. And did you get your victory points for going? No, there was no victory points for going there. So um, two victory points. Okay, I'm going to Petty Cash over here. Two victory points. One, two. I get four gold because we're in round four. And then I'm splicing again. And I'm going to the newsroom for three oh. victory points. One, two, three, and I get two, two four, six, eight. eight points for everyone I have placed. Have you that one as well? Yep. So that's ten. Ten. Ooh. It's purple. It's opal Nero. Sam Booker tonight. Uh, that's all my placements. Are you sure? Bring everyone. Yep. Yeah, don't everyone. Bring everyone back. Okay. And I am first player. You are still first player. Yes. Awesome. Uh, feeding. I have two free feeders because I've got leaves on these two guys, so I only need to pay three food this time. I'm paying three food. You're paying three food. Uh, round track five. Triple build points. Let's try and remember. Hang on. Before we do that. I'll deal out three new perk cards. Three uh, new perk cards. Additional perk cards. So we now have six perk so cards. So we've got the, uh, the Warlord, Warlord, the Morale Center, and the Engineer. And we each go up on the research track, which gives me a perk. And I get another worker. Oh, 
I'm going to take Beggar's Alley. Oh, I've been... There's no taxi backsies I know. No, there isn't. But I've been missing out on perk here, forgotten all about it. Additional uh, You need point. to keep track of your perks. Yeah. There's a lot going on. <laughs> and your first player, this is the last round. So I'm going here with a double brain <laughs> to get a component. <laughs> It's probably a bit late to get a component at this point, but I'm going to get a component. Yeah, because there's, you, well, yeah, you, you can still, still get place points. it. You, you still, still get points for them. After you yeah. So I'm going to go for a tentacle then. It's your turn. Good choice, Anton Booker. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. And it looks awesome. Mm. 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 Right, uh, my placement is it? Yes. What's out there to build? Attach, move, three, get two points. The attached. science fair, which you were like adamant that you had to have. Ooh. Right. Shopping centre. Two. You're Coin catching me on the two points. Maples. Okay. I'm going to go build with this guy. I'm going to build the shopping centre. Oh, really? For three gold. I'm going to place it here where I get three gold. <laughs> <laughs> so you get two points for building it? I'm going to... Go there, but I, do, I get two points for um, activating as well, but I don't get any value out of its thing yet. So can you build it? I can still build it. Mm. You're so, supposed to only be able to build it if you can activate the bonus. Two victory points. <laughs> you have to read the rules on okay, that one. Okay, we will check that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. We will check that. Uh, let's see. I've got six workers to place this round. I don't have enough food. I have to get food as well. I need to do him there, so I'm going to save him for that. I'm going to go here and get five coins. Ooh, it's a nice little uh, one. And two victory points. And two victory points. Oh, I didn't get my double build bonus. What? Double build bonus. Triple build bonus. Oh. Four right. more points, please. Four? Yeah, triple build bonus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I need to build something. Oh, not triple build bonus. No, no. Oh. No, no, no. Build points by three. Yeah, it's for yes. two points. Yes. It's not. Yeah, okay. Right. Me. What are you going to do next? I'm going to my mint, <clears throat> which is money for all the gold boarded uh, modules on the board. So there are three gold boarded modules on the board. I'm getting three gold. You're still out cashing me. I've got to cash That's up. That's right. <sighs> Ooh, okay. If I do that one. Yeah, I'm just looking at that. Cost me four, but I can do that. Yep, I'm going to build. I'm going to build this one. It's going to cost me four. I'm going to build it here and get three food. Yeah, I've got to get food as well. I need two more food. I'm going to go here. Oh, and i got two victory points. Of, oh, no. Six. Six victory points of building, building it. Go two for activating it. Two. And I get to attach a component. What will I attach? I mean, really? I'm just going to attach this one. And I get... Is it a free component? Yeah, it, it is. It is a free component. It comes okay. from there. When you and access. you get three victory points per uh, attached. So I get six victory points. Six victory points for doing that. Wow. That was good. I like that. 
Six point round, five build bonus. Six point round, five build bonus. What? Uh, Lucas, not sure what that question means. We get three times um, build bonus. Yeah. Build points. Um, yeah, this, it's technical. This is a build bonus, bonus but that is. The build that points is are the module victory points. Victory points. Yeah. Uh, yes, I should clarify that when I say it. Um, you've got three, four places to go, and I've got one worker left. How does that work? Because you've got one out there, that's why. Oh, you went twice. No, I didn't. Yeah, I've only got one worker out. You've got three out. You've got two. Oh, yeah, I do have two, yes. I have to, but you can. Mm. This is going to be the best. No, that's not going to be the best use of <laughs> This is going to be the best use of this. I'm going to go here. <gasps> no. Yes. You're going to get two food and two victory points. Two food, two victory points. Uh, it's and not gonna, a build, so no, I don't get a bonus for it. You're going to refill the reactor. And I'm going to refill the reactor with three modules. Oh, all right. Pay, I think you get six food. Money, mm. come on, money. Where's money? Money, 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 money. There's no money. You get there's food. There's no money. <laughs> it's not going to get me much, but I think I'm going to do it because it's going to get me a component. There's still five people watching. So sure you hear the other uh, three, uh, two were. Oh, Rick's on there. Hi, Rick. Oh, uh, hi, Rick. Didn't see you, mate. I missed your missed your messages. Um, I'm placing on command hub, so I'm only going to get two points. Yes. It's not a build bonus. Yeah. Uh, but I get a component. Okay. We've got no one in the slicing lab, though, but they're worth points at the end. They are worth points at the end. They're worth so I'm points grab at one the of end. These. I need cash. I need cash. I need cash. I need cash. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to build that. I'm going here. I'm building the grant office for three gold. This gives, well, okay. Uh, can I have six victory points for the build, please? Grand office. Where are you I, building it? I'm going to put it here. So you're going to get six coins. Six coins. I'm going to go there. So you're going to get two coins plus a coin for every research track you've gone up. And I've got five. So you're going to get for every two research tracks. So you're uh, going to get two two extra. You don't have coins? Uh, it's helping me you along. sure? It's helping me along. You're like the bank. Um, it's the bank of Peter. Is there anything else in the, uh, the other bill? I have enough food, but it never hurts to have food because it's worth points at the end as well. Pay one. Don't have any to pay with. That's the good thing about this game. Everything is worth points at the end. Yeah. Food is worth points. Money is worth points. Components are worth points. For I each worker you have placed, score two victory points. So I'm going here. For each worker I have placed, score two victory points. I get three victory points for going there. And then for each worker I have placed... Two, four, six, eight, uh, ten. I can't move you any further. Where do I go? Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now, now you're my, in front. with my last worker, I'm going to Command Hub B, where I score everyone on the board. Oh, you Because I've got two. two brains. That's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 points. 11 points. Makes me 91. Man, <laughs> just when I thought I was doing well. <laughs> and that's the end of the placement phase. And there is no splicing phase because none of us are in the splicing, splicing lounge. lounge. So it's feeding time. Let's bring them all back for feeding. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Cost me three I'm food. Four food, which I have exactly. I fed up exactly. So did you reach your goal? You did, didn't you? I don't know. How much coin do you have? You have 13. I yeah. have. You have tons. I have tons. I've got, yeah, I've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hey, Smudge. Hello, Smudge. Smudge has made an appearance at last. Thank you, Smudge. It's not quite game night without you on the table. I don't need your bottom in my face, though. Come on. Off you go. <laughs> uh, right. Final scoring. So if I have the most food, I get nine points. You have the most food. I have the most food. So I get nine points. Okay. Right. Good. So that's that done. If I have the most gold, I get nine points. Well, you do. Damn it. I was trying to thwart that. So I've cracked 100. So I changed my token for the 100 star. So I get two points for my food. Two points? So I have four food, so I get two points. I get nothing for my food. I get um, one victory point for every three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I've got 13, so what is that in food? Six. Six. Uh, sorry, how many, what do you get? One? One per three coins. One per three, so four would be 12. What? 12 would be four points. Okay, four points. One, two, is. three, four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now components. Attack components. One, two, three, four, five. Five components. What are they worth? Two points each. That's another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 18 points for me. Ooh, one, two. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> one, That's 10 the plays one sixteen in the end. Wow. Peter won both games, which I said he was likely to do. So I was right. Amazing. Um, let me come back here. So that <laughs> is Chimera Station. Now, we're going to talk about this a little bit, aren't we? We are. We're going to give you a little bit of a review from us anyway. Yeah, as best we can. So um, it's really our first work of placement that we've learned from scratch, and it wasn't that difficult to learn, but we don't have anything to really compare it against. Except no, for we've only played viticulture, viticulture once. Yeah. Um, so complexity, this is... Well, on, according to Board Game Geek, it's 3.15 out of 5. So it's fairly complex. It's what I would say it's a medium weight game, maybe yeah. medium to heavy. I yeah. don't know, depending on what you think. Did it meet your expectations? Absolutely. Um, it always does. Every time I play it, it's different. From what I hear from other people, the cover kind of... Has a it has a Futurama kind of a vibe to it. Yeah, well, the Marco pointed out that they look like The Simpsons. So yeah, yeah, so Futurama, Simpsons, similar kind of vibe. So it looks kind of childish, but it's certainly not childish, and it certainly exceeded my expectations of what the game would be like. Yeah. Um, now there's a bonus to this. We played the B side tonight, so we started with advantages on our race. But if you play on the A side with Everyone's equal. Everyone's equal. You start the same. So if you were introducing new players to it, you'd give them the B side so they start with some advantages and you play on the A side so you start low. Gives new players an advantage over experienced players. Or you could just start all on the A yeah. side and you all be level. Yeah. Um, so the strategy depends on the people you're playing with. So if does. you've got really strategic people that you're playing against, Marco. they're going to be really <laughs> – Marco <laughs> – <laughs> They're going to be um, quite into getting the points, et cetera. And I was my strategic best self tonight and I you still did really didn't well. win. You did really well. Um, the component quality. is awesome. The, the modular meeples are fantastic. Yep. The modules themselves are really high grade, matte finish, really solid. They have a nice tactile feel to them. Uh, the, uh, there is a deluxe version of this which has metal coins and plastic uh, space burgers, um, which we'd like to get <laughs> And I do of. wish that the player cards themselves were, were, they're not. were card. They're, they're only just, sort of a – they're a thick card, but they're, they're not like a chunky card. They're 180 GSM cardboard. 
So they're going to warp over time, yeah. which is unfortunate. That's the only downer on the um It is. Build. It's yeah. the only downer. The board is really good quality. Um, what about replayability? Always. There's tons because there's 40 modules and you're never going to see them all in a game. Them. Maybe in a four-player game if everyone's flushing the reactor, you, you might, might see them. them but you might. Unlikely. Yeah. Uh, also, in a four-player game, you're going to see more modules on the station board. Yes, you are. There's going to be more There's options so many more to options. play more things. Um, so you're probably not going to want to flush the reactor because yeah. there's going to be plenty of stuff out there to build on. Um, the theme, awesome. Love the theme. Yeah, it works well. Um, we both like the space Super theme, sick. the aliens are just great. The fact that they're named the weirdos and the brainiacs and the eco-friendlies and the toughies, it's pretty good. It's good. Fun um, factor. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's a <laughs> There are so many options you can't get bored in this game. You can be strategic. You can block players if you want to. You can take modules. You can look at their player board and go, oh, they haven't got much food. I better get the food, you know. Or you can just have fun and, like, hog all the components. Yeah. I imagine in a, in a four-player game all the components are going to be used and you're not going to have – in a two-player game it's kind of friendly. There's plenty of components to go around. Yeah. In a four-player game it's not going to be no, the case. you'll run out of leaves very quickly because there's only seven of each upgrade component. Um, leaves and brains are really popular. I think the toughies kind of are underrated. But in a four-player game, when you've got these guys, you're knocking people off their modules and taking. And as we said before, if you're controlling the build space and you're not moving to a thing, like if you build a monolith and you don't move your player there, you're hogging the construct space. So you if you had toughie. toughies, you can knock that person off there yeah. and send them to the worker lounge and then you yeah. can build something. So there is an advantage to using them. Absolutely. Just probably not so much in a two-player game. Um, so, yeah, that's Chimera Station. Hope you enjoyed it. We did. It's good fun. We love it. Yeah. It's great. And we're not drunk yet, so we're going to keep drinking. Yeah, we'll play a game. <laughs> it's quarter to nine. How long have we been on here? Um, oh, it's since another, 7.30. It's one hour 20 again. See, it's been good. It's good. We're kept trying to keep it to an hour and a half on a Friday night, so it's not too long, not too short. Um, so We're trying to keep everyone entertained. I need to move the cat so I can... Get us off <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate your support. We do. So um, we'll be back. And we do have Chimera Station in stock, as long along with Roll for it. So yes, pop um, into the store and pick up a copy. Yeah, please do. Anyway, thanks guys. Nice to see you. Um, talk soon. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>